we're always going to have hard situations. We're going to have hard shit in our life. We're going to have hard markets. This market, 2023, which got real, was the fourth easiest market to make money in the last 20 years. There was the fourth most commission dollars available in the last 20 years. TF just made the case a couple weeks ago in Dallas. He said 97 billion in the US and Canada. That's where I did a little bit of digging. I showed the agents in Connecticut. Yeah, that actually translation, fourth most available money for us. The opportunity is significant. Jeremy posted a uh, stat sheet on his IG. 50% of the agents in this market haven't done a deal all year. License holders. Sounds like opportunity to me. And I think we can all agree, I said it before, four out of 10 homeowners don't have a mortgage. The vast majority are under six and 5% on the 30 year fix. I don't think any of them are giving their home away. So the homes that are available to sell are gonna be at a high price and there's plenty of commission opportunity available. Preparation's the best form of optimism. I was talking to these two last night in the boat. They're preparing. Their optimism is how Dylan changed his business model in the last year and a half to make sure profitability was high. He was going team model, said, okay, I need great players around me, Regan and others, VAs and, and, and the system that they're building, but I need to get my hands dirty and do the work myself. That was the move that, that Dylan made over a year ago to prepare to do 50 deals in a hard market. He did better, he told, he told me, this year than last year in 2022, when, I mean, two and a half percent was still around the beginning of 22. But the preparation went in. We all need to know how to be the expert. That's just time, that's just choices. What's our best opportunity to convert buyers and sellers and investors? Well, it's the three days of the week. None of us want to do any work, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's just the truth. If you look at Zillow's data, their call center goes up 100% on those three days. Anybody with a Zillow Flex contract knows exactly what I'm talking about. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's the Super Bowls of real estate sales. Just because our friends only work Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday doesn't mean we have that right. We didn't cho choose that business. I don't want to go get radiation in the can and be a nuclear mechanic anymore. I chose to be a fancy realtor. We all made that choice. It's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's getting our hands dirty again, like Dylan is. These Friday, Saturday, and Sundays are so important to all of our business, whether you're a broker owner, team leader. Last year, listen, I got complacent. It was easy to do, 21-22. I was going up from, I live in Naples, Florida, I was going up once a month for a monthly team meeting to Connecticut. I have a home there too. It's a beautiful home. It's not a tourist, I've got thousand home. It's a great home. I was going up once a month. Now, I'm going back and forth every week. It's important, with, no matter what, there are levels, and no matter what level you're on right now in your business, you better be doing the hard work. There's one person in the country that's gotten business off of TikTok. There you go. There's one person that's pulled it off. So are you gonna take the headlines and dance in front of them on TikTok and try to compete with one of one? Or are you gonna get into your local community belly to belly, face to face, know exactly what you're talking about, go Ivy Zellman style, take the macro, being able to have a POV on every single story and headline that they're seeing. If they can regurgitate it, you better know about it and bring it back to the micro? Are they bringing you the Zillow property before you're seeing it? And buyers in their, in their 60 day window, 60 to 90 day window are really educated, aren't they? <laughs> it's shocking how much more educated they are than some of the agents that you come across in your market, <laughs> right? Because they have a purpose. There's far too many agents outside of this room that don't have a purpose. The only reason they're actually an agent is because of buildings like this because we need license holders in this country. You guys know what I'm talking about. It provides a huge opportunity for everybody in this room that wants to be elite, that wants to do the work, but be prepared for what's coming. And the best way to be prepared, I would argue, 
is to be in a community of significance. I don't care if you're a solo agent, a team leader, a team agent, or whatever. Be in a community. If you're sitting in this room right now feeling like I'm doing it alone, get out of that mindset and get into a community. With many, there is one. Everybody here has got one goal, one mindset, you know, one thing they really want to do for them and for their family and the legacy and the impact that they're going to leave. We'll get around many people that know what they're doing. Don't make the mistake that I made when I went bankrupt and I went rogue and bought four prop or three properties on four mortgages. Nobody's ever done anything great alone. Well, Byron, there's a, that guy, Michael Phelps. He was the only one in the pool. The minute he got out of the pool, he had his trainer, his nutrition coach, his business consultant. Who's got a bigger team than almost everybody in this room? Nobody's done everything, or anything rather, great alone.